All right. Have fun, you guys. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. On our lovely solstice, winter solstice eve. So what I thought we would do today, we have been spending time dealing with gratitude. So for the last two, but today we're going to change it up a little bit. Some of you have been introduced to these special movements, this Taoine invocation using special hand gestures to affect all of the meridians. So that's what we will do today. We'll do it in its entirety. So it will take approximately 25 minutes, but let's start with moving. So if we find ourselves standing with the feet straight ahead, hips width, shoulder widths apart, your choice, the heels lined up behind. And let's begin tapping the shoulder we're looking over. Just a little bit of movement to awaken the flow of chi, of prana, and a nice, deep, expansive belly breath. So it's a wonderful opportunity here on the solstice. It's very traditional with the Taoists in particular, but with yogis as well, to spend this day meditating, to spend it in some form of basic movement, nothing too extreme, and to spend it focusing on nature. So if you have opportunities to go out on a retreat, to interact with different forms of life, it would be quite energetically appropriate. And if you can take extra time to meditate, besides this session this morning as well, even if it's just sitting and being in silence. You don't even have to think of it as meditation. And so we're tapping the shoulder we're looking over, even if the eyes are closed, the back of the head to the kidneys, and allowing for that natural, deep, expansive belly breath. So we will do three movements, three movements for that trinity of Jin Chi and Shen, or the divinity, if you prefer to think of it that way. The heavens, the earth, the humans as the bridge, or any other form of three. Again, a very auspicious number, a prime number, deepening the belly breath and twisting turning, tapping. So you say, why is this so good? Well, it works the entire spine, but we're tapping the kidneys. Kidneys, the seed of that gene energy, your essence, that which gives you life. Notice the quality of the breath right now. How deep and expansive is it? And how full is the twist? This in and of itself is affecting a change in your brainwave pattern from beta to alpha. Just as being in nature will affect you. Shifting to outside of the thighs now, begin to twist and sway as you look backwards to try to see the heels. Firm taps on the outside of the legs, palm on the side, you're twisting towards, back of the hand on the other side. So here again, you notice the yang and the yin, or the yin and the yang. <laughs> palm is yin, back of the hand, yang, the solar and the lunar. Deepen the belly breath. So you might have many movements as you tap this gallbladder meridian, a wood element, affecting it and the liver. So you can imagine already we've affected the heart and the lungs, the kidneys, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, small and large intestine, we're going to get governing conception vessels in a moment, bladder channel, kidneys again, 
The beauty of the practice is it is so comprehensive. And coming back to neutral now, big sweep with the arms up from behind, over the top, forwards, fold. Swami draws in, gentle fists, pull back and in. So here is the governing conception vessel movement, the bladder and kidney channels in particular, but the small and large intestine, the heart and the lungs. You can feel the stomach engaging, stretching on the front side and then compressing as you come down, stretching on the back side. So I was going to make this the three movements today. Let's do two more. We'll finish hanging upside down for a moment and stretch. So you come over the top. Now straighten your legs, shift the weight into the balls of the feet, the beginning of the kidney meridian, and press down through the floor or through the earth, relaxing the neck and the head, deepening the belly breath. And you're still right now. Maybe some of you used your neti pot this morning and you have the <laughs> residual moisture wanting to come out of a nostril. That's what I'm experiencing. <laughs> so good thing I have my yogi toes here. <laughs> Relaxing the head to the neck, deepening the belly breath. Stay in the legs just a little more. And when you're ready, Let's take a nice big reverse swan dive up, coming in very slowly. Use your core strength, inhaling up, inhaling up, inhaling up, reaching for the stars, and slowly, slowly pressing downwards with the palms, down the midline. Let's do that two more times. Inhales as you reach up for the heavens. Gathering press, universal chi, prana, chi, exhale, pushing down. And one more time, inhales as we reach for the stars. Exhales, we slowly, slowly press downwards. And now with as little movement as possible, come to your comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. And I will just adjust the camera a little bit so that you have a fuller view of me seated here. I think that will be good. The key is so you can see the hand positions and I will, I will explain them as well. Each one goes with a particular set of we're going to begin as we normally do with first focusing on our posture. So if you can just allow, allow yourself to find that comfortable seat where you have the head over the shoulders, the shoulders over the hips, the knees are relaxed. The breath is deep. The eyes closed, if you can. If not, a soft gaze looking forwards and down. And the hands could rest on your thighs, in your lap, whatever feels appropriate for you. And from here now, focus, return to the breath. Return to the expansiveness of the breath as you breathe in and out through your nose. Allowing the abdomen to expand on the inhale and to contract on the exhale. Breathing deeply, unhurried, expansively, softening in the shoulders, the face, and the hips.
See if you can breathe so deeply, you can breathe into the fingers, into the toes, into your center, your core. And as you exhale, allow for the release of any toxins, any thoughts, anything at all that is not nurturing. Allowing thoughts to come and go, returning to the breath and to the third eye. Bring your awareness to the lower Dantian. Focus there, the navel area, and notice what you feel and experience. Deep, expansive belly breath. Softening and awakening. Bring your attention now to the middle Dantian, the solar plexus up into the chest. Focus there and notice what you feel and experience here, softening and awakening. Deep, expansive belly breath. Bring your attention to the upper dantian, the upper chest, to the crown of the head. Focus here and notice what you feel and experience. Focus now on the third eye, Tian Mu, and allow that third eye to awaken, to open to the North Star. And allow this energy from the North Star, this bridge of light, this bridge of pure, white, nurturing, guiding, healing energy to enter. And as you breathe deeply, you have connected with this star, the star that everything else and the universe rotates around. And that starlight energy is now beaming in through your third eye and flowing through your being, touching every cell, bathing and swathing you in warm, pure, clear, cleansing, unadulterated light. Allow this light to fill you up. Allow this light to cleanse. And allow this light to heal. Allow your hands to face upwards, resting on your thighs. Bring your thumb and index finger together, creating a mudra, a gyan mudra, softening in the face. Divine nature of wholeness. Remove distractions from the eyes and the ears to keep my energy full, my spirit whole. Keep the mind from wandering, the subtle body 
is like nature and heaven. It receives all and it holds nothing. Slowly now, raise your hands just off the legs. Palms now face the earth. Let the thumb and index finger open. The fingers are gently spread apart. Divine nature of subtle integration. The mind and heart represent the fire energy in my body. Only when mind and heart are harmonized with my body, then the water energy can connect and correct the goal of fundamental cultivation, good health, and be achieved. Slowly bend at the elbow and raise the hands up like a goal pose. And you can angle the hands in towards your head. The fingers are still spread apart. The eyes closed if that works for you. And you may now feel a polarity perhaps, a connection between the palms, the loud moon points. Divine nature of peaceful mindedness. Flowing smooth and free. So should my mind be kept clear of sticky impediments and keep the same innocence inside as outside. This is the way to wholeness. Deep, expansive belly breath. Slowly now, slowly let the wrists fold, the hands facing the earth. Just relax the hands. So they're roughly perpendicular with the floor. Divine nature of perfect harmony. The calm power derived from my daily practice can transform what seems to be a disaster into a blessing. Learn this, and I will be qualified to sit in the seat of the lotus, looking deep within myself. Now relax the wrists even more. Let the fingers point towards the earth. You need to lower your arms a bit, that's fine. Just relax in the shoulders, deep belly breath. Divine nature of equal mindedness. To become one with Tao, there is only one requirement. Keep a consistently calm mind. Keep it peaceful, transparent, still as the water of a clear blue lake, and I will enjoy the subtlety of great bliss. Deep belly breath. Now allow the fingers to point towards one another, the elbows to be roughly parallel with the ground. Well, the hands are facing in towards you, fingers pointing towards one another, still separated. Eyes closed. Divine nature of constant, subtle virtue. Stay whole, stay clean, stay firm. And in one moment, I can experience everything of Tao of nature and become an adored child 
of the heavens. Deep belly breath. Allow the hands now to drift downwards, just hovering above your thighs, palms facing the earth, fingers spread apart, long spine, chin parallel with the ground or slightly dipped. Divine nature of original simplicity. Before touching the form I rest in the unformed. I obey the universal energy in order to evolve higher. Deep belly breath. Softening in the face, the shoulders and the hips. Slowly raise the right arm upwards, just bending at the elbow. So you're going to have it up in front of the chest, the right palm facing inwards towards the midline. Now take your left palm underneath the right elbow. So the left arm is at 90 degrees to the floor, the palm facing the right elbow. And the right arm is vertical but bent at the elbow. Divine nature of universal trustworthiness, following what is right is like a stream flowing toward the ocean. Keeping my innate virtue is the true foundation of happiness. Through practicing great virtue, I can refine my personality and alter my life. Slowly raise the left hand up so the back of the hand touches the back of the right hand in front of the chest. divine nature of universal mastery. When I remove all covers and obstacles right here and right now, I will know the origin of my life. A long pilgrimage, a long pilgrimage is not necessary to find my source. All I need to do is look inside. Slowly now, lowering the right arm down, bring the right palm under the left elbow, the left arm now bent at 90 degrees, facing upwards towards the heavens. The right lower arm parallel with the earth, just the other side. divine nature of undefeatable plainness. The road to becoming a Shen, a divine immortal, a spiritually achieved one is clearly marked. It is my impatience and desires that blind my own spiritual eyes. Deep belly breath. Allow yourself to peer inwards. Slowly raise the right arm up and cross at the wrists, the palms facing inwards towards your chest, crossing in front of your chest the wrists touching right on the outside. 
divine nature of non-aggression, self-discipline alone will correctly develop my divine nature. The subtle body, which will manifest itself as the basis of my everlasting spirit, my Xian. my divine nature, my spiritually awakened self. From here, raise the right hand now up above the head. Let the palm face the heavens. Take the left arm forwards. Index and middle finger touch as if pointing outwards. The thumb now will come to touch the ring finger and the pinky. So you're extending your left arm in front of your chest, straight out from the shoulder, the right palm facing the heavens, just hovering above the head. Deep belly breath. Divine nature of unconditional supportiveness. The subtle power comes not just from without ourselves, the subtle power, let me rephrase that, the subtle power comes not just from within ourselves, but it is aided by heaven, and by earth, and by all living things that work positively through me. Open up on the solstice eve to nature, to all that exists. Take your thumb and index finger together with the upper arm now, the one overhead. Divine nature of pervasive harmony. Allow the Tao to penetrate and it will expand, filling your body, my body, and my being, your being. My way of life will be naturally smooth and straight. And your way of life will be naturally smooth and straight. Wholehearted and with strong protective power, I will forsake the bitterness of life and be content within myself. Close the right fist now above the head. Deep belly breath. Divine nature of subtle universal law. When I adhere to sacred method, cultivating myself precisely, keeping clear as to my every motive and idea, then all good, all positive qualities will become firm and all traps can be avoided in my life. I then become one with Tao, unchanged even in death, as I realize the eternal firmness of existence, infinite, eternal, and whole. Slowly now, slowly lower the right arm down, taking index and middle finger forwards together, thumb, ring, and pinky, raising the left arm overhead, the gentle fist.
deep belly breath. Divine nature of subtle light. The luminosity of pure mind comes only when the death of desire is allowed to be As the neurotic mind quiets, the spirit comes alive, realizing an unusual, majestic light, infinite, eternal, and whole. divine nature of total integration. I persevere in connecting with the universal light. Through it, I will achieve the fullness, the brightness, the essence of my nature. I shall experience and verify the truth of the universe myself and thereby voyage safely across the boundless spiritual ocean of space. Slowly, slowly, let the arms come inwards now, crossing at the chest, thumb and index finger touching. Divine nature of life-giving vitalization. I never tire of studying life. I ceaselessly gather my chi and keep it whole. Essence, chi, and nature are the three treasures of my life. The wrist touching, middle and index finger holding yan mudra in front of your chest, deep belly breath. Divine nature of unaffected clarity unstain and empty my mind, thus it will become a fine tool, a tool that will unite the scattered fragments of myself into one whole, so that what is may become clear to me. Divine nature of great silent eloquence. Tao is without color or form. Yes. Yet from it emerges all wonders of the universe. So subtly flows the Tao deep within the fertile stillness hushed within profound quietude. It is indeed the great reality, the great awareness, the true consciousness. Allowing now your index and middle fingers to come together and form a cross in front of the chest. Just bring the right hand the middle index finger into the left hand, the middle index finger. Let the thumb ring and pinkies come together underneath. Deep belly breath. Divine nature of highest awareness. Trace back to the root of my soul. 
and deep within quiet reflection. And the ultimate truth unfolds naturally to me. Naturally to you. Divine nature of honest nature. I keep my spirit untouched, my mind clear and detached, my body still and upright. All my actions have a deep respect for the original stillness of the universe. Though peacefully engaged in life, I abide in the infinite simplicity of the Tao, of nature, of the universe. Slowly let the hands drift down, now bringing the thumbs together, the fingers curl inwards and gently press into your belly, thumbs pointing up the midline, lower down to Bring your awareness of energy to the upper dantian, to your forehead, to your third eye. Bring your awareness to the middle dantian, to your heart and your lungs. Bring your awareness now to the lower Dantian, your kidneys, your abdominal core, your creative and root chakras. Deep belly breath. And slowly release the hands from the abdomen. Now bringing thumb and index finger together once again in Gyan Mudra. And just 21 times, we're going to bend the wrists and raise the hands, just relaxing the hands down. So 21 times, just flexing at the wrist. Deep belly breath. When you finish 21 times, let the hands return back to your legs or your thighs, softening. What are you aware of now? We will slowly, slowly take a breath as we raise the arms up to the heavens, out from the sides, up to the heavens, bringing them together in prayer, slowly drawing them downwards on an exhale, down to heart center. Bowing the head momentarily, opening the eyes slowly. Open the hands, keeping the wrists together into a beautiful lotus in front of your chest. On the next exhale, gentle fists. Inhales, press forward straight from the chest. Exhale, opening the hands, sending out care, compassion, and love, goodwill to each and every creature, being, to Mother Earth and the universe. I wish you a wonderful solstice, a chance to reconnect, to fully be alive. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful
holiday. I look forward to seeing you perhaps this coming week. We'll send out notices for the classes. Ding on, ding, ping on. Health, happiness, and harmony to each and every one of you. Jai Thank Happy you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Michael, is there Qigong on Thursday, on uh, Wednesday? Wednesday? Not this Wednesday. No Qigong this Wednesday. Qigong next Wednesday. Okay. Yes, and I'll send out a notice to just um, Lord Jen Will about.